Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Cancer, welcome to September. So um, first thing they want to say is that this is actually a month where you are sort of looked at as successful. Even if you don't feel like you're winning, like that DJ Khaled song, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Um, even if that's not running in your head and that's not the way you feel, that's the way that other people are viewing you this month. Everything is a hit. So that's especially awesome if you're some sort of a creator, you're um, you know, doing makeovers for somebody, you're writing a book, whatever. Um, people really see you in this light like, wow, they're very successful, they've got their shit together, you're very trusted. So I would use that to my advantage. Um, and maybe the, the, there will be more details on that as we go through the reading, but that's just kind of um, something they wanted to make sure that we get out right away as far as what's going on with your money. So the money vibe in the beginning of the month is um, one about being really careful with the details surrounding money. Um, so... I wonder exactly what they mean with that because the way that they're showing it to me, I read um, intuitively so and I channel. So sometimes I get like little visions, like clairvoyant visions, and what they're showing is like writing a check um, to exact pennies, but I'm thinking why would that be? And they say for whoever that applies to specifically that image, you'll understand. I know personally for me, sometimes I'm lazy and um, maybe a, my electricity bill is, you know, a certain amount of dollars and 38 cents. I just round it up to the nearest five when I'm paying it online. And then every once in a while, I get like a weird check in the mail for $2 and 40 cents because I did that because I overpaid it. Um, but I do it for my own accounting so that I know exactly what's in my account. But they say for whatever reason for cancers this month, the details surrounding money are really important. Um, I would say in the beginning of the month, if you're going to sign a new contract or if you're going to take a new job, for example, um, making sure you pay a lot of attention to the details of that. Uh, a good example of this would be maybe um, a company says, hey, we're going to pay you $60,000, but a certain amount of that dollar is really in the form of benefits. We're going to put um, $100 into your 401k every month, which may or may not be a successful 401k. Um, we're going to pay $200 towards your health insurance every month. We've got a daycare credit if you use the, you know, one of these three daycares. Um, tuition reimbursement. And maybe you don't have kids and maybe you don't go to school. So um, your paycheck isn't as big as you anticipated, for example. It's something about focusing on the details is really important. Surrounding your money. Not surrounding your career, but like the actual, um, or not surrounding what it is that you do to generate money. It's actual money details. That's interesting. What else is going on in the beginning of the month? And then they're saying, yeah, it's just like other people are really kind of praising and applauding you. They're noticing your successes. In the middle of the month, the money vibe is something lucky. Um, you'll be feeling very lucky, very fortunate. Maybe there's an awesome sale at your favorite store. Uh, maybe you're tipped huge. Maybe you get a promotion or a bonus. But very lucky vibes in the middle. Now, at the end of the month, though, um, you're not feeling super strong in regards to your money, which is kind of interesting when the middle is like, hey, we've got some money luck. Maybe a good time to go to the casino, but then maybe you go back at the end of the month and you lose it all. That's the kind of vibe that we have here. At the end of the month, what they're saying is whatever this thing is that happens that um, is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not like the strongest ending to a month is kind of what I'm picking up on. Maybe it's because you go out of town and you spend more than you think. I mean, you know, it can be different for everybody. But they're saying 
the reason why this happens is to call attention to ourselves something that we need to change and do differently moving forward in October. So it's not necessarily catastrophic. I don't want to scare you there. The overall money theme for the month of September is that um, the seeds that we've planted historically are now going to start growing. Well, I mean, they've always been growing, but now they're going to start bearing fruit. So you maybe put $10 into an investment and then it does nothing for a long time because those little roots are growing down and the little sprout is coming up and now it's starting to pop through the earth. And maybe that's why other people are looking at you and going, oh, wow, everything that they're doing now, like, hey, really good. So this could be maybe you took a course and you invested in your um, future career that way. And now all of a sudden those skills are starting to pay off, right? And for some of you, it's just starting to bud. For others of you, it's like this is a full tree and now fruit is starting to come down. So for some of you, it's the first time that something is paying off. And then for others of you, this is like a thing where it's paid off before and now it's spinning back like a cycle back into your life to pay off again, where maybe, you know, you have a really busy season at work where you generate more income all of a sudden, something like that, okay? Um, potential new income sources for you this month. They're saying that there will be argument over that. Um, maybe a little bit of stress, disagreement, and it's about how money would be used. So I'm thinking, well, some people work very independently. They're their own boss and they don't have any employees. So how is that, you know, possible here? And what they're saying is because if you have a partner, for example, in um, your relationship, they might say, hey, here is a better more effective use of our money, I believe, and then there's disagreement and arguments there. Um, but maybe we want to listen to that. You know, maybe you want to buy a home with your spouse and they say, hey, I really want to get a duplex. And you're like, no, I really want a single family house. I don't want strangers living next door to me. We have kids. Is that safe? You know, whatever. And um, But maybe your partner's right this time. And so we want to think about what is the shared goal that we have in mind at the end of the day and focus on that and not the way that we go about doing it because potential new income sources are going to come by way of somebody else's idea and it's an idea we don't necessarily agree with. So whether you take that new income source, take advantage of it or not, is going to depend on your ability to focus on the end result instead of getting caught up um, you know, in holding your own ground and not being malleable with your opinion. So opportunities that you should consider, they're saying um, don't consider anything that you don't have a huge amount of love for. If somebody says, hey, I've got this great opportunity, and you're not like, and you're like, yeah, I can see that, but this is not what I love to do, it's not really worth taking. Um, actions that you should be taking towards your career path. They say something completely untraditional, something that you haven't done before, um, and, but not if it's something that you don't love doing. So um, I'll just use, for example, maybe I am a dance teacher, okay? And I've got my own little studio, but I also have a love for um, photography, okay? I can blend the two together. I can take photos. I could have like a camera automatically snapping as I teach this dance class and then maybe sell those images to proud parents later, the most fantastic ones of the group, right? Um, that would be an example of what I'm talking about. But if I didn't love photography, this is not a good idea for me, okay? It's about taking things that I already love and mushing them. Um, what is maybe not what's going right in advancement of your career this month? And they're saying, for some of us, we're really doing a great job trusting our intuition, but there are blind spots that we can't see and we're not meant to see right now. And so then we lie to ourselves and we tell ourselves that we have the full picture, that we know all the details, um, because we're feeling very strongly about a certain aspect of that. But it's like when you're walking in the dark, right? You can see where you're going. You can see the path, but you might not see the smallest little divot in the sidewalk. 
and then you trip and fall. Okay, so there's little divots in the sidewalk. Um, you can mostly see where you're going, but there's little things here that we're not clear on. And if you're pretending like, hey, I have the full picture, and you're going to move forward to, you know, maybe make a move, to switch careers, to start a new business, it's not the time until we figure those out. And so how do we go about figuring those out when we're feeling so self-assured? And they're saying, we want to be thinking about all of the things this month that we really love, and then by contrast, the things that we don't love. So let's say, for example, um, I was going to start a new business, but it's going to require me to do promotion by posting on social media every day. I hate posting on social media every day. So that little blind spot there means that if there's something that I want to to do, and this is a requirement, maybe this isn't exactly the path and I need to go back to the drawing board. Or maybe I need to hire somebody to do that for me, but only if I love having an employee, if I love delegating work there and that sort of thing. Does that make sense? Um, we want to be contrasting the things that we truly love and the thing just generally in regards to career and in regards to our wealth, our money and our money potential this month, and the things that we don't love. Um, and then kind of eliminating the things that we don't love, either by delegating that out to somebody else or – and then um, increasing the things that we do and trying to blend them together to potentiate our success and our income. So, um, for example, in a partnership, maybe I don't like to pay bills. So I'm going to pass that responsibility off to my partner. Even though I love to be in control, I'm going to try to release that, okay? Um, or – if I love to do it, which honestly I do because it's a good law of attraction tip, um, the more you're like, yes, I did this, I achieved this goal, I can pay this, I'm so thankful I can pay this, then the more wealth we attract. When we have a positive relationship with money generally, instead of like, oh, fuck, I got to do this, um, then we're in the right vibration to get more of it. Okay? So what's going right with your current career path? And they say, um, well, what's going right with your current career path right now are those pain points, are the things that we're not really loving, that those are being called to our attention so we can uh, change those or delegate them out so we can create an environment that is more fulfilling and full of love for us. Um, so for some of us, this is going to mean um, just really putting intense focus on the things that are fun or exciting or our passion. For others of us, that's going to be about finding our passion and our purpose. Um, but they're saying no matter how that plays out for any of you, this is going to be a really good investment in yourself as well as in your future. So if you need help with that, personal readings are always done in 24 hours or less and they're as low as $10. So look forward to helping you. I love you so much. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20 minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.